Hello, good day viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to rationalize the denominator of a sodic expression. Sometimes a sodic expression can appear to be in a fractional form. And in mathematics, it is not standard to have a denominator in a sodic form. We have to rationalize it to make it rational because any sodic expression is said to be irrational. So how can we rationalize the denominator? The idea of equivalent fraction will always guide us in doing that. Suppose we have a sodic expression in the form 3 divided by root 2. This is not standard. But something in this form, root 3 divided by 2, is in a standard form. Because you can see here, the denominator is a rational number, while this is irrational. In equivalent fraction, multiplying any expression by 1 will not change that expression. So this times 1 is still 1. So writing this 1 as 2 divided by 2 is the same thing as 1, because 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. This is done for a purpose, because you can see the denominator here is 2, likewise here is 2. So multiplying these two expressions, we have 2 root 3 divided by 4. This and this are all the same. We learned that if you square a square root, if you square a square root, square will always cancel the square root, leaving the rational number under the radical sign, which is 2. But as well, root 2 squared can be expressed as root 2 multiplied by root 2, which is the same thing as root 2 squared. This means that if we multiply this root 2 by another root 2, it is going to be rationalized. But to do justice, we have to multiply the top by that root 2 as well. That is equivalent fraction. So to rationalize this, we are going to multiply the top and the bottom by root 2. So that here we have root 2 squared, which is equal to 2. And to the top, we have 3 root 2. So this is equal to 3 times root 2 is the same thing as 3 root 2. Divide by uh, root 2 squared, which is root 4. And you know square root of 4 is 2. So you can see that the denominator is now rational. And uh, this 3 root 2 divided by 2 is the same thing as 3 divided by root 2. If you press your calculator, you're going to obtain the same value. But this is in standard form. So in general, in general, if you have a rational number divided by an irrational number, to make them rational, so this is the same thing as saying a divided by root b multiplied by root b divided by root b. Because root b divided by root b is the same thing as 1. Multiplying this by 1 is the same thing as the initial statement. Finally, you can see that this is a root b divided by b in standard form. So what about if we have a binomial sort at the denominator. In our previous lesson, we have learned about conjugates. You know, if you multiply two conjugates together, you're going to obtain a rational number. So now let us test another one. You can see the denominator is a binomial sort. And in our previous lesson, we have learned that if you multiply a sort by its conjugate, it is going to be transformed into a rational number. So we can just go ahead and multiply the bottom and the top by the conjugate of the denominator. And the conjugate of the denominator will be root 3 minus root 2 because they only have a difference of sign. If this is positive, you take the negative sign. If it is negative, you take the positive sign. So this becomes root 3 minus 2 at the top divide by root 3 plus root 2 but we want to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator 
and the conjugate will be root 3 minus root 2 divide by root 3 minus root 2 you know the top and the bottom are the same so this equals 1 so we are going to multiply the top separately multiply the bottom separately this is equal to you take the first time here because you can put them in parentheses you take this term you multiply the whole of the other bracket this becomes root 3 uh, in bracket we have root 3 minus root 2 then you take the second one which is negative root 2 together with the sign multiply by this root 3 minus root 2 and under the denominator you can see they are just difference of two squares we have learned that previously you can see the terms are exactly the same just they have a difference of sign take the first term square that subtract take the second term square that let us move to the next line this time this is going to make it root 9 and you know root 9 square root of 9 is equal to 3 so here we have 3 this time this you know this is negative sign this time this is going to make it root 6 you know you can multiply sorts together then moving on here you can see this time this is going to be minus root 6 then minus minus is plus then root 2 times root 2 is root 4 square root of 4 is 2 so we have 2 here divide by we come in here root 3 squared square will cancel square root we have 3 there minus square will cancel square root leaving 2 as a rational number and this is equal to we collect the like terms you can see this and this are like terms so you bring them together 3 plus 2 is 5 the minus root 6 minus root 6 is minus 2 root 6 so we have minus 2 root 6 3 minus 2 is 1 so we don't even have 2 you know even if you write it as 1 1 is a rational number and dividing any number by 1 will not change the value so this finally equals 5 minus 2 root 6 this 5 minus 2 root 6 is exactly as this expression you can use your calculator to see whether the values are the same or not the values must be the same so now let us take the last one so this is what we have you can see these two binomial sorts are all mixed sorts and we want to rationalize we don't want to see any irrational number on the denominator so we want to make it rational by multiplying the expression by its conjugate so we can just go ahead and multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator so we have 4 minus 3 root 2 then we multiply it by the conjugate of this which is the same thing as 2 root 3 minus this time around because we have positive sign here 3 root 2 we do the same to the denominator we have 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2 then the conjugate is 3 is 2 root 3 minus 3 root 2 then we expand taking the first one here we take the first term here we multiply by the second bracket we have 4 in the bracket of 2 root 3 minus 3 root 2 then we take the second term which is negative 3 root 2 multiply by 2 root 3 minus 3 root 2 then on the denominator it is the same thing as difference of two squares you take the first term 2 root 3 squared minus um, the second term is 3 root 2 squared this difference of two squares can only be obtained in this form whenever you have two exact binomial terms you can see this term 2 root 3 is the same thing as 2 root 3 3 root 2 is the same thing as 3 root 2 but they only have a difference of sign this is negative this is positive 
Whenever you have an expression in this form, if they are binomial, you take the first term, you squared, you subtract, you take the last term and squared. You can as well follow this format, but in the end, the middle term will cancel themselves, leaving the first and the last term. So now let us simplify this. Four times two, root three is going to make it because you multiply sword with swords, rational numbers with rational numbers. You can see this four is rational number. Suppose this is root four, you will multiply it with root three. But since it is rational, you are going to multiply it with its partner, rational two. So we have four times two, eight, root three. Four times three, is 12 root 2. Then moving on, we have this time around you can see we have rational number and a sort. This rational will multiply the rational, irrational will multiply the irrational. But we have a minus sign here. Um, 3 times 2 is 6. Then root 2 times root 3 is root 6. So we have root 6 here. Then moving on, minus minus is plus. 3 times 3 is 9. Then root 2 times root 2 is root 4. We can write it as 2, but just let me write it as root 4. Then on the denominator, we have difference of 2 squared. But this squared is going to affect every term inside, including the rational and irrational numbers. We have 2 squared is 4. Multiply by root 3 squared is 3, then minus. 3 squared is 9, multiplied by root 2 squared is 2. Then let us simplify. Okay, we have um, 8 root 3, the minus 12 root 2, minus 6 root 6, plus 9 times 2 is 18, because square root of 4 is 2, 2 times 9 is 18, and here we have 12 minus 18. Do we have any like term here? We do not have any like term here. So this becomes um, 12 minus 18 is equal to negative 6, so we can just write this one as a negative 6. And you can see the denominator is rational this time around. And if you consider this numerator, all the terms there have a common factor. Two can go into eight, two can go into 12, two can go into six, two can go into 18. So we can factor two out. We have two in the bracket, eight divided by two is four. So we have four root three minus 12 divided by two is six root two. 6 divided by 2 is 3, root 6, plus 18 divided by 2 is 9. You know we have negative uh, 6 here, but we can also factor something out. We can factor 2. In the bracket, we have negative 3, because, uh, you know, this time this is the same thing as negative 6. So this 2 will cancel this 2, leaving only negative 3 on the denominator. So finally, you can write it as 4 root 3 minus 6 root 2 minus 3 root 6 plus 9 divided by negative 3. You can see negative 3 is a rational number. And this is our main target to make the denominator rational. So subsequently, we are going to look onto equality sorts. So don't forget to share, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel.